Red Sea. And we're going to get things started off here for the winter season, one of the best times of the year. We have hunting, hunting season going on. We just celebrated Thanksgiving, um, getting ready for Christmas and the new year. And back in college, about six years ago when I was a freshman, my teachers told me to start the year off, or start classes off with being kind of humorous. So uh, we're going to have a little theme today, and it's called Dinty Dog. I get up in the morning, drink coffee, and I listen to the uh, Music Choice channel, Christmas music, and I read all those things you know. So, did you know that my daughter Anna was featured in the Parent Magazine in, in uh, September? And the reason being is she came home from school one day and she had her homework ready for us to check and it, it said her name, Anna, date, no. And my wife said, why'd you have a no? She goes, I ain't dating anybody. <laughs> So she was featured and won a, a gift card from the Parent Magazine. So after each sport, we're going to have a Did You Know Fact, and that will be the thing for tonight. Right now, we are going to bring down Coach Al to uh, meet the boys and girls swimming and diving team. Coach Al. Backstroke. Uh, sophomores this year are Ryan Alcantri. He swims butterfly. 
it'll be later maybe this in the season. Um, we have the juniors, we have no seniors this year. We have Brian Ramirez, he swims freestyle. Andrew Hoskins-Stagna, he swims freestyle as well. And me, I swim butterfly. And that's it.
So I'd like to give a hand for the whole, whole team symphony break to the big event. Right now I'm going to introduce uh, Vanessa Sol. She's going to announce the uh, seventh and eighth grade players in the Mitchell.
At this time, I'd like to calm down. Did you know, in fact, my favorite wrestling, my favorite uh, wrestling, and head coach John Masha.
support all our athletes that are in their sports. I would also like to wish the best to the wrestlers, the swimmers, and the girls basketball team this upcoming season, as well as the cheerleaders. What I'd like to do at this time is I'm going to introduce all of our coaches from the 7th, 8th, 9th grade JV teams. If they would go down, our 7th grade coach is Jimmy Barron. So, Coach Barron, you come down and introduce the 7th grade team, please.
Varsity-wise, we've got a great deal of experience coming back. Last year was the first year in over a decade that there has been back-to-back -back district births. And hopefully with our experience, we can turn that into three district appearances. If that would occur, that would be the first time in 21 years that a boys basketball team has qualified for the district. Our bigger goal is to compete and qualify for the Scuba League, for the Scuba League title. What I'd like to do at this time is I'd like to introduce all of our players. If you just please step forward. Ernie Shoko. Russell Blaker. Ben Miller. Bo Rotet. Zach Coleman. Thaddeus Zuber. Nate McDonald. Colin Murphy. Tyler Stripko. Brett Schulich. Dylan Scott. Joe Breswick. Frank Whitmire. Alec Berta. Chris Miller. Derek Barr. And Zeke Wassel. We opened up our season. We're on the road for the first two games. We played at Notre Dame East Strasburg on Friday night. And on Monday, we were on the road. We played at Myersville. Our first home game will be Tuesday. That will be against Shenandoah. So I hope you all come to support not only our boys basketball team, but all of the winner athletes throughout the season. Also, one final note closing. Tomorrow we will have a 7 o'clock meeting for all parents from 7th grade through our varsity. The meeting's going to last all of 25 minutes to, to a half an hour. So I hope you will please be in attendance. Thank you and have a good season. Did you know at the time of the basketball convention, the color of the ball was brown because of the difficulty of locating it against the gym floor? Tony Hinkle took a chance and changed the color to orange. For the cheerleaders, there are over one and a half million cheerleaders in the U.S. today, and over 80% of them maintain a B plus or higher grade point average. And special thanks to our pep band for coming here and playing today. The Tawanda Area Band started in 1927, and did you know that the team worn on the new uniforms is the exact replica from the 1927 induction band? This will conclude our winter uh, meet the Raider night. We thank all the parents, all the coaches, all the athletes who are coming to the, for the attendance tonight. Uh, Mr. Moroniak for helping set this up, set this up and we wish everybody great love this